Unitree's new AI technology, a robot that mimics human behavior. Dear fellow scholars, this is a new episode with a special guest. Today, we are going to see what happens if we upload a human brain into a robot. Well, not literally that, but Unitree, a company which makes humanoid robots just gave their robots a brain, and interesting things started to happen. For instance, look at this. This is the H1 robot from Unitree, and it can mimic human behavior. Why? Because it has a brand new AI module which allows it to observe humans and then replicate their behavior. For instance, let's say there is a person in front of the robot and the person raises his hand. Then the robot will try to do the same thing. And get this, it remembers these behaviors, so if we ask the robot to raise its hand again, it will be able to do that. And it generalizes well, too. If we ask the robot to wave to us, it first observes how waving looks like, and then it is able to do it. Loving it. So the robot can mimic human actions, but can it think like a human? Well, not quite yet. So today, we are going to find out whether this new AI brain of Unitree's robot can make it act smarter. Is it able to reason? Is it able to plan ahead? Can it make decisions based on what it observes? Can it learn from its own experience? And finally, are we getting close to having a thinking robot? And here is a bonus question. How does this compare to the amazing ChatGPT? Let's have a look. The new AI is called U-Brain, and it is an artificial general intelligence system. That means that it is designed to perform any intellectual task that a human can do. But for now, it is still baby steps. For instance, we can ask it what 2 plus 2 is, and it will answer correctly. Excellent! But we can also ask it something that requires a bit more reasoning. For instance, what has an eye but cannot see, or what has cities but no houses? Hmm. These are riddles, and they are not easy to solve. But U-Brain was up to the task and provided the correct answers for both of them. Well done. However, let's be a bit more challenging. How about this one? You are in a room with a matchbox, a candle, and a kerosene lamp. Which one would you use to light the other two? This is a classic riddle that requires planning ahead. First, you would light the match, then use it to light the candle, and then use the candle to light the oil lamp. In this order, the match is used to light the candle, and the candle is used to light the oil lamp. There you go. Okay, so maybe this isn't so hard. How about this one? You have a 3-liter jug and a 5-liter jug. How can you measure exactly 4 liters of water? Well, here is the solution. Fill the 5-liter jug completely. Then pour water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug until it is full. This will leave you with exactly 2 liters in the 5-liter jug. Then empty the 3-liter jug and pour the 2 liters from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug. Now fill the 5-liter jug completely again and pour water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug until the 3-liter jug is full. This will use up 1 liter from the 5-liter jug. Therefore, there will be exactly 4 liters left in the 5-liter jug. Voila! Did you, brain, get it right? Well, hold on to your papers, fellow scholars, because it did not. It said that you can do this by pouring all the water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug. Uh, oh, so not quite right. Of course, sometimes it might take a few tries to get it right, but I am impressed. It got the first one right and the second one wrong. What about ChatGPT? Well, let's ask it the same questions. What is 2, 2, easy peasy, 4? What has an eye but cannot see? A needle. Very good. What has cities but no houses? A map. Again, very good. Now the hard one. You are in a room with a matchbox, a candle, and a kerosene lamp. Which one would you use to light the other two? The answer, light the match, light the candle, and then light the oil lamp. Yes. Excellent. And how about the jugs? Can it handle that? Well, here is the answer. First, pour all the water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug. Then, fill the 5-liter jug completely. Pour water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug until the 3-liter jug is full. Then, pour the remaining water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jug. 
There you go. Correct answer. Excellent. So it seems that ChatGPT is better at solving these logic puzzles than YouBrain is. However, don't forget that YouBrain is still under development and this is not its final form. We will keep an eye on it and see what it can do in the future. Now what about mimicking human behavior? How is that going? Well, here is a new paper where the researchers ask the robot arm to mimic human demonstrations. The idea is that the robot observes what a human is doing and then tries to replicate that. They call this imitation learning. And for some tasks, it works surprisingly well. For instance, for inserting a USB key, it was able to perform the task after only seeing it a few times. Excellent. But what about more complex tasks? Well, let's see. Inserting a screw. This is harder because first you need to find the right spot and then turn it, and then perhaps even find the right screwdriver. So, is the robot up to the task? Yes, it is. It found the right spot, inserted the screw, and tightened it. Loving it. But this is still not too impressive. After all, many robots can do this. What about something more complicated? How about pouring milk into a cup? This is tricky because the robot needs to estimate the amount of milk that is in the carton and then pour it slowly without spilling. Can it do that? Well, let's see together. Oh yes, it can. It poured the milk in a way that there was none left in the carton and there was exactly the right amount in the cup. Wow. And this is where we get to the interesting part. Not only did the robot manage to pour the milk into the cup, but it also generalized to new situations. What do you mean by that? Well, pouring milk into a cup works well when the cup is in the middle of the table. But what if we move it to the edge? Will the robot still be able to do it? Yes, it will. And if we make the cup even more wobbly, will it fall over? No, it won't. It takes the base of the cup into account and pours the milk slowly enough to prevent spillage. Excellent. And we get to the coolest part yet. How about if we change the object? Can it adapt to a new type of milk carton? Yes, it can. It first observes the new type of milk carton and then adapts its pouring strategy accordingly. And here comes the ultimate test. Can it generalize to a completely different task? What if instead of milk, we have a bottle of soda? Yes, it can do that too. Look, it first studies the new object and then starts to pour. However, at this point, I have mixed feelings. Yes, the robot can indeed mimic human behavior really well, but it is still following a recipe. It first observes, then pours, then checks. It has a procedure for everything. And it doesn't seem to be able to improvise. Don't get me wrong, this is already super impressive. But can we get the robot to truly understand what is going on? Can we get it to understand that milk cartons have a spout from which milk flows when we squeeze them? Can we make it understand that cups have a function to hold liquids and that they have a handle not to be grabbed, but to pour the liquid in? And most importantly, can we make it understand that we don't want to spill the liquid? If we are able to do that, then we will have a robot that truly understands the world around it. Then we would be able to program it to perform many more tasks without having to write a program for each individual task. And then we would be closer to having a true thinking robot. However, for now, it still follows recipes. Recipes that it finds in our human demonstrations. Who knows? Perhaps one day soon, we will be able to have a conversation with a robot, and it will be able to understand what we mean and not just respond to keywords. And perhaps one day they will join us in the studio here. What a time to be alive. Thanks for watching and for your generous support, and I'll see you next time.